Welcome back to Jurassic Evergreen Park. In this episode I will build three completely different habitats as well as make huge progress in the park. And with that said, hey guys Legion here and welcome back to another Jurassic World Evolution 2 speed build and as I said in this episode I will build three different habitats. One of them will be uh, the habitat um, that I have to finish off and that is the big habitat uh, like with the tour and the river which has been planned now for uh, a couple of episodes, uh, I think ever since the Diametrodon speed build episode and uh, now I'm in this episode I will finally be finishing it and I decided to put the Ankylodocus from the latest DLC in there as well. And the next habitat is for the Acrocanthosaurus that I will be building um, pretty much right away after this little section right here which is uh, right after the latest episode. Uh, so yeah, I asked you guys in the last episode what species to put into the uh, next habitat that I'm going to be building today and I decided to go with the Acrocanthosaurus and I've really, uh, you know, uh, gained a lot more appreciation for it uh, whilst building this and uh, after putting it into its habitat and maybe the reason for that is just that I really liked how this habitat turned out and I think it's probably one of the best habitats in the park because I just really like uh, you know some of the features there but you're gonna see later how I built that and you know what features I like about it so much. And then the third habitat is not really a special or big one, it's just a little uh, fun habitat for the oviraptor and also the chunkingosaurus um, next to one of the plazas in, that I will be building in this episode. But I'm also going to be discussing that plaza later because there's a special thing about it. But currently I'm decorating the area right around the viewing platform uh, for the Dinocarus habitat and uh, that area also can look into the habitat for the Sucumimus where I decided to also put the Cacrodontosaurus in because it's a really big habitat and I thought it was a bit empty with just a couple of Sucumimus uh, uh, you know, walking around there so I decided to also put the Cacrodontosaurus in there which I think is a fitting species. But yeah, over here I'm uh, basically decorating the path uh, with a lot of concrete barriers and a lot of bushes and trees. And I'm also going to be doing uh, the same decorating in the late area. Just I skipped that uh, for the building so you, don't have, so you guys don't have to watch uh, the building part. And you can just see a before and after image. And over here before recording I also built this plaza right here from an image that I found on Pinterest. So basically took that inspiration and turned it into this in Jurassic World Evolution 2. And I think it turned out quite nicely. I didn't record the process though because it took quite long. Uh, so yeah, comment down below if you want to see me uh, do a video on how to get inspiration for this game and how to turn it into a Jurassic World Evolution 2 build. But now I'm going to be starting the build on the Acrocanthosaurus habitat which is the biggest and in my opinion probably the best part of this episode. So I have a, quite a lot of things to say about this and the build process. And first of all there's a lot of elevation difference and a lot of elevation in general in this habitat. Because uh, at the beginning of the habitat like at the bottom you have this view area um, with the water where the water of the habitat is where the guests can look into it from the plaza that surrounds the Spinoraptor temple. And that is quite uh, down low in elevation compared to the end of the habitat that is, um, you know, that's a lot more elevated. So I had multiple areas where like the acros have an area where they have to walk up a ramp, sort of, uh, like a ramp of terrain. And then they uh, come upon the next platform and they walk up again, next platform and then the next platform, uh, the last one in this habitat. So like I said, there's this bottom viewing area that you can see from the plaza surrounding the Spinal Raptor Temple. And then there's a next viewing area that is right after going up to the, uh, going up next to the Dinocarus habitat and seeing that viewing area. You also have a viewing area where you can look down into the acro habitat. And, um, you know, on the brink of that, I decided to build like a trench. And I think that turned out really cool because that's what you would see in a zoo. If there's like a dangerous animal and you want the guests to have a, uh, unobstructed view into it you would have a trench uh, just like with uh, big cats for example and I think it looks really really cool when the Acrocanthosaurus is uh, walking through the trench or walking uh, on the platform uh, you know next to the trench and then uh, when the guests look into the habitat they have like the trench between them and the Acrocanthosaurus but uh, it looks like they're on the same height but of course there's safety and they're separated from them. Then after that the acro can walk up again and then there's a viewing gallery where the guests can look into the feeding area for the acros and uh, I also built a little log viewing gallery that separates uh, the feeding area and also like their sleeping area what that would be so the guests can also see that when the acros are like sleeping there uh, where they feel you know unobstructed where they don't feel seen by the guests but uh, we you know cleverly built like this log viewing gallery in the park um, and then the guests can still see them all the time. So yeah, as I said, I really liked how that habitat turned out. But next I want to talk about the DLC that has been now confirmed for Jurassic World Evolution 2 uh, at the Frontier Unlocked stream. 
you probably have seen it at this point, but if you haven't, basically um, they sort of went in and then there was um, some uh, uh, some kind of person from the Jurassic World Evolution 2 team and he basically told us that uh, there will be a DLC coming in the next few weeks and he showed a teaser picture which, which was basically the jaw of the Megalodon and that is basically Megalodon confirmed. Of course we could still just get like some kind of other shark but it's pretty, um, you know, at this point like we're gonna probably get Megalodon and I don't really see a world where we get anything else than it. Uh, yeah, there are many packs uh, that you can do with that of course and there have been different speculations about what pack we would get with the Megalodon. Many people have now thought that we are going to get a Cenozoic pack because you know the Megalodon fits into that and also we still need the Smilodon from uh, Camp Cretaceous from uh, one of the seasons and at this point it seems like Frontier is trying to put uh, all of the animals from the canon into the game because they have made DLC to fit the Tarbosaurus in, to fit the Nothosaurus in and now also the Cynoceratops from Camp Cretaceous and uh, yeah we also still need Microceratus and we still need the Smilodon. With the Smilodon it's a little weird of course because we have never had mammals in this game uh, and I personally am not sure if they will come to this game. I really th could see it either way. I could uh, see them either, you know, doing a Cenozoic pack next, right here with the Megalodon, then adding like uh, three Cenozoic animals, uh, three mammals. And yeah, I could see that happening, but I could also see that not happening. But I think uh, at this point in time, we shouldn't expect a Cenozoic pack. I think just uh, some kind of other pack is more likely. I've seen uh, people suggest also a second marine uh, pack and I think that is probably not going to happen as well because that is that would just be really weird I think uh, not many people would buy that because we know you know we already have a marine pack and at this point I think the roster for marine animals is already uh, large enough and I think we will never need a new marine creature except the megalodon of course because it's really you know special and unique and uh, such a fan favorite and the community has always wanted it but I think there's another possibility for a pack that's more likely and that is like a giant's pack and with like just big species all around uh, because there are many big species that uh, people still want in this game for example the Herzegopteryx or the Argentinosaurus and then they could do something else maybe like a large carnivore which I would be really happy about I think we need like some kind of new large carnivore that is not the Tarbosaurus from Camp Cretaceous um, but we could also maybe get like the Shankatangasaurus which is wanted by people as well and then um, I think we could also, uh, you know, basically guarantee that we're gonna get another DLC after this one with the Microceratus in it since that's still missing. But yeah, I personally would have wanted a herbivore DLC to be next because I think that herbivores are really lacking in this game currently and that we really need some new herbivores. So I hope that it's gonna be a giant pack and I also think that's the most likely option out of all of these because there's really not much, you know, you can do with the Megalodon as a theme because it doesn't really fit into much. It fits into the Cenozoic pack probably, into a, a marine species pack which we already had. Uh, yeah, a Cenozoic pack is really unlikely, so I think that a big species or a gentle, or well, not gentle giants, but like a, a giants pack could be uh, really likely. And I also think that that could go give us some really nice species, like for example the Argentinosaurus, which I also really want personally. But then next, uh, you know, the weird thing about this update cycle is of course that we already just got a DLC like, uh, when was that, uh, two months ago or something and usually we get a new DLC every, I think, three months. So that's kind of weird um, and maybe we will even get a free update with this uh, next DLC. We don't know though and I personally don't expect to get a free update because, you know, they just made a DLC and how are they gonna have the time to make a DLC and then uh, really quickly de release another DLC and then also another free update with that. So yeah, I personally don't expect a, uh, a free update, but I really really hope that we're gonna get one because I think this game really needs some new content uh, building wise. Because like new species are nice to have, but they're not really new content to build with because you're just gonna build uh, the same habitats you're already building with the same things because you don't have any new stuff. But now I've actually finished most of the building for this habitat, so uh, yeah, with the magic of editing I'm just gonna add all of the rocks at once. And now similarly with the magic of editing I'm also gonna line all of this path with uh, some kind of barrier and also the bushes, just like I did in the first uh, speed build section uh, around the viewing area for the Dinocarus habitat. 
And now we're jumping straight right next to the plaza that I built uh, from the you know concept images, from the inspirational images that I found. And uh, we're going to be adding a habitat right here. That habitat will be for the oviraptor and Chunkingosaurus, two smaller species. And we're going to you know be building a smaller habitat for them. And I'm also going to be using uh, one of the tricks that I showed in my five tricks videos. If you haven't seen that yet, of course, check it out. Some really, really nice uh, sandbox ticks tricks uh, and hacks you know build hacks in my opinion uh, so using some elements for different effects and doing some stuff that you normally couldn't build in this game and yeah just like that i'm using the containers right here as the backing for the small species habitat because they just work better and make more sense than using the big concrete barriers but yeah, uh, just like I said previously uh, about the pack that's coming, uh, I'm I'm not sure if I'm uh, really that excited, uh, but of course I'm a bit excited, you know, getting the Megalodon is going to be pretty cool, and I hope that we're also going to get some other exciting and interesting species uh, from my wishlist, especially some that I really want. Um, yeah, also if you want me to do like a wishlist video on the species I want, I could also do that, uh, because there are definitely some species I would still really love to see in this game. Uh, so yeah, I hope this update is, uh, I hope we're gonna get an update, uh, that's like my number one wish, and then I also hope that we're gonna get some nice species in this pack. But in general, in this habitat, I'm do doing just like my typical stuff at this point for this park and, uh, you know, the biome that I'm building in. And I really use a lot of this uh, one particular Mediterranean tree that is like really tall, and I really love that tree. It's probably my favorite tree in the game. Uh, I think it uh, gets a lot of use for me, and I love uh, just how it looks. But right now in the speed build, I just got finished building a little cut-off path segment for the park, uh, for uh, this path right here. Basically, I wanted to do like a separate path uh, segment that is like um, cut off of the main path for the shops and then elevate that a bit. But that path segment actually took me like uh, half an hour, not half an hour maybe, but it took me really long to build because my park kept crashing whilst building it. And my save file kept crashing. Uh, that is pro that is because of the mass delete tool. Because for some reason, um, when I went into delete mode, I was on the mass delete tool. And when I tried to switch off it and switch into the normal delete mode, it just didn't work, and my park just crashed. And like for a long time, I really tried to figure out what is crashing, what is crashing, why can I just not place path anymore? Can I just not delete this path right here? Um, but then I found out what the issue was, so I went into a separate save file, uh, changed back to the regular delete mode, save, uh, the save file, and then I went back into this save file, and then I could finally delete this path over here and finish this little, you know, cut-off path segment, and also uh, the shops around here in this little area, and I think this area is really necessary for this path, uh, for the path that it's on, because that path doesn't really have anything special, like, it doesn't really have any reason to exist, it just has a little bit of viewing into that um, oviraptor habitat, so I think this shop area really gives it a lot more purpose, uh, so it doesn't feel uh, just useless and just, uh, you like, this path uh, otherwise would just be going through the forest and you wouldn't really see anything on it. But now I flew my camera over, you know, to the uh, big safari habitat, to the uh, habitat with the big river. Like I just like to call it, it sounds stupid in my opinion, but that's what it is. It's a big river habitat uh, where I, you know, changed out the zip line for a tour uh, later, uh, later previously uh, on the last episode. And uh, it has been in the works, it has been planned since the uh, speed build for the, um, for the Sukumimus. And that river, you know, cuts off into the Sukumimus habitat and also goes like uh, along, uh, like in front of the habitat. And it also goes into the Dinocarus habitat. And in this episode, I finally decided to finish it and I decided to put the Ankylodocus in here because I think it's an interesting sauropod and I haven't used it, uh, you know, at this point, uh, even though it is from the newest DLC. I just didn't really like species from that DLC and so I didn't do a video on each of them and I might still uh, add the Sinoceratops uh, even like though as a modded version but I might still add it into this park but let's see because we I only have like a couple of habitats still uh, left to finish this park um, and yeah I'm gonna have to choose uh, which species I will add and which I won't so and which I will leave out. But now that's it with today's speed build and now I'm getting uh, giving you guys some quick overview shots of everything we built today. First the Acrocanthosaurus habitat, an overview of that, a little bit of a walk through, uh, through uh, one of the little pathways in between the habitats as well. 
and as well as the plaza that I designed like uh, from the concept art image then also the big river habitat uh, where I also added the Edmontosaurus which I forgot to mention uh, so yeah I li really like how the builds in this episode turned out uh, the three different habitats so if you guys enjoyed it too comment down below what was your favorite uh, habitat of this episode and your favorite part of this maybe see you guys in the next one bye bye